Hey guys, today we are going to talk about a consulting agency that is all the rage and it has employees and those employees are saying pretty ridiculous stuff on Twitter. But nonetheless, um, it is a consulting agency and it is a very interesting story to highlight. I think in terms of why it's so interesting, uh, gamers are gamers, of course, we cover the completionists. Uh, give them credit where credit is due when they see that something is wrong. Often they are very, very active about it. And that's what they have done here. So I do believe that in terms of what is happening right now, you have a situation that is really getting out of control. And when I mean out of control, I mean out of control. I mean... It is a situation that, you know, they had to uh, make everything private. Uh, so who, what is this consulting agency, Sweet Baby Inc.? Sweet Baby Inc. is a consulting agency that basically does diversity. Um, let me not butcher uh, what it is. Um, let me go on their website and read. Founded in 2018. Sweet Baby Inc. is a narrative development and consultation studio based in Montreal. Our mission is to tell better, more empathetic stories while diversifying and enriching video game industry. We aim to make games more engaging, more fun, and more meaningful, and more inclusive for everybody. So they have outreaches. They have done games like Alan Wake 2. Saber, uh, Battle Shapers, Usual, uh, Jod, God of War, Ragnarok, Rock, Spider-Man 2. Uh, they worked with some companies like Xbox Game Studios, EA, Valve, True Love, Santa Monica Studio, 2K, Ubisoft, Square Enix, Warner Brothers, Finji, Polytron, Rocksteady, Co-op, Composing games, uh, and obviously the one that I'm most concerned about is Wizards of the Coast, and they are individuals. Uh, they're, you know, let me see if I can go on their LinkedIn. They might that might be not blocked because it's LinkedIn. Sweet Baby Inc. is a narrative development company based in Montreal and working around the world. We're all about helping you tell better stories, whether that means tackling script writing. In narrative design, creating unique and compelling narrative content, consulting on diversity and inclusion, or connecting you with fresh new talent. They have uh, 11 to 50 employees. They have 38 associated members on LinkedIn, uh, and they're in Montreal. So this is a company that is recently made a lot of headway. Uh, so that's LinkedIn. So I can't click on anything else. Maybe I can click on Instagram. Um, no, nope, Instagram is private. I believe Twitter is private as well. I'm going to click on it to make sure. Uh, yes, Twitter, the posts are protected. So whenever a company is making things private, you can assume things are definitely not in the, in a good light. So let's actually kind of, um, look at what they do and we begin with an all-hands review and discussion on the project material. Everyone at Sweet Baby sees your project and shares their thoughts, feelings, and ideas. We do this because it kicks the project off with a multitude of perspectives, beginning a conversation that ensures the work is richer and more resonant than before it's even put to paper. We then create and complete, narr and complete narrative deliverables by keeping the, the player in mind, what with a focus on user experience and emotional design, we aim to consult with honesty, transparency, and a conversational approach to help find the best direction for your project. So they're focused on writing, narrative, representation, and development. And uh, yep, um, obviously they have certain leanings, as you can see from their own employees. Um, I think uh, this company won't be around for much longer, I assume, uh, given that everything is privated and so on. And the companies are being um, absolutely obliterated. 
uh, which is what's happening right now. So, yeah, I definitely do not think that this is going to end well. I think this is going to end terribly for this company. And they're really, like, the be the best way I kind of explain it, it's like, um, it's like a situation where they, they're creating the exact problem they're trying to solve, in my opinion. So, very strange company. I, I did not realize, um, I did not realize that something even existed, but it kind of makes sense. And I bet you they make more money than I do. I'm positive they make more money than I do. So, you know, hey, you know, good for him. Uh, good for him, right? Or, or them, or, you know, man, they're making a shit ton of money from this diversity thing. It's uh, a little crazy. It's a little crazy. Uh, I don't really know what to um, make out of this. I, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. They're everywhere on the news right now. And I don't think... Um, I don't think uh, they will survive the bad media. Uh, they tried to get a, so there was an app, and the app, I, the only thing the app does, I believe, is to tell you what games that this company worked on. And then after you figure out what's game, they're, they're basically saying, hey, don't play these games. Um, and people are not playing the game. And more and more people, more and more attention. It's, it's kind of like they're trying to cancel people. But those people they're trying to cancel, they're getting a lot more followers now than ever again. And hey, man, I mean, good for them. I mean, they're just kind of crushing it right now. It's a, a strange time to be alive, I guess. That I'm positive this company charges an arm and leg. Hasbro, for instance, they laid off like a ton, like what, 25, 30% of their staff, but they can afford a consulting agency? It doesn't make any sense. Why not keep your staff? Anyway, bye guys.